Hey, good evening. It's Tuesday, December 4th. Thanks so much for being here tonight. A little warmer, as you can tell, but still a little nippy. I'm going to continue looking at Hebrews, and this is a portion of Hebrews 11, which is not quite, it's challenging to us. It's challenging to me, at least because it talks about the kind of faith that Abraham had. Notice what it says here. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place that he wouldn't later receive as a possession, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. He didn't get a Siri roadmap sign telling him in his ear what turn to take. He just trusted God and went. By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger. And this is the hard part. By faith, he made his home in a promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations whose architect and builder is God. See, we're to live on this planet as pilgrims. Not that we all have to go by a camel like the one in the thumbnail tonight. Not that we have to have that kind of a lifestyle where we live in tents all the time. But what it does mean is this path of faith, this journey of faith, this journey of hope that we're on can't be about being having life here be everything I want it to be. There's something more than what's here. That's what's being read. He was called to, he, he made his home in a promised land and lived like a stranger in a foreign country. This is this pilgrim faith that Abraham was called to. It's the same faith that you and I are called to. And we're not just talking about geographic pilgrims. We're talking about living this life realizing there's more here, more to life than what I can see and touch and feel. It means that things that are close to us, sometimes they don't remain. My wife is no longer here. She hasn't been here for eight years. We didn't plan that. There was so much that we thought that I believe that she still had to do so many brilliant contributions to understanding the Old Testament, having children and families grasp the beauty of the Old Testament. God had other plans. Thus living as a pilgrim. We get sick. I had cancer. It's not part of the program, but it's what it means to live as a pilgrim here. We have relationships that hurt us. We have things that go crazy different ways. Not what we planned. But since my home is ultimately not here, but somewhere else, it's rooted and fixed in heaven because I'm looking forward with Abraham, my brother of 4,000 years ago. I'm looking forward to that place that God has built, where Jesus has said this is a mansion that God has built for us. A place has been prepared for us. So I live as a nomad. I live as a pilgrim, knowing that this world will not satisfy everything that I desire. But God has promised that he will not desert us. He has promised faithfulness. He has promised riches beyond that we can believe. Not just in the world to come, but right now. We can't live for the immediate. We can't parent for the immediate. We can't live for riches for the immediate. We have to be wise in all those things. But we parent, we live, we serve, we work. We follow God. We seek his kingdom. We glorify his name, bring honor to his name in all that we do. And there's some sadness along that route. There's some things that 
don't go the way we want. But there is hope there. Because remember this definition of faith we're working with. Faith believes that God exists and that he's able to reward those who seek him. And that's what this is about. You see, Lot wanted it all here right now, so he didn't trust his uncle Abraham. And we'll talk about Lot tomorrow. Lot wanted everything right now. He wanted to be a permanent resident here. But it didn't turn out so well for him. Abraham had that focus on living for what really matters. Life is truly life. So this is a little bit sad, this pilgrim road, but it's also filled with the richness and contentment and joy that cannot be duplicated any place else because it means we're not bound by this planet and the treasures of this world. We are connected to the beauty of eternity and the wonder of our God. And that is what it means to be living as a pilgrim, as a nomad, and not have all of our hopes tied to this place right here, but have them connected to heaven so this place right here has the ultimate meaning for us. And that's the thought for tonight. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for being on this journey of faith with me as we look at faith at this time. Lord bless you, Lord keep you. Check us out, everydaytalks247.com. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, turn on post, post notifications. Videos will come right to you. Thank you thank you for all those who support what's going on here. Grateful for that. You can do that at everydaytalks247.com. And I love your feedback and comments. Lots of comments today. Really excited about that. So thank you for that. May the Lord bless you. And may your journey of hope be one of rich blessing. Have a great evening. Lord willing, we'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.